Um, and I've had some strange experiences since I've been here. Um, what are we? Thursday, uh, two days ago. Um, we, we had to get up early at the hotel, four o'clock in the morning, uh, to get the early train to get, to get here. And uh, I, I got up and I was fine. And I was in the bathroom. And then I walk out the bathroom, the room's over there, so I'm turning left. And I'm walking towards the, into the room. And um, I couldn't walk straight, and I couldn't walk to the right. The only, the only thing I could do was walk to the left. It was like, it was like I was drunk, but only half my brain, uh, half of my brain was sober, you know what I mean? And it was like, if I was walking towards you now, the camera, I was doing that. I couldn't stop myself. Um, and, uh, and then I started to feel really ill as if I was about to faint. And I, you know, in my mind, I said, oh, I, I've got to lie down on the bed. And as I walked towards the bed, because I've, I've tried for three or four minutes, keep continually trying to walk straight, thinking, what the heck's happening here? Well, I didn't use the word heck, but something close. And um, as I walked towards the bed to lie on it, suddenly, boom, as quick as it came, it went. And um, I'm standing there bewildered. What just happened? And this, this voice in my head, very, very clear, said, not to worry, we've just flipped your brain. Your brain just flipped, I think that that, that was the, the, the term. And that from now on, I would start decoding reality differently. Um, and uh, so I get dressed, kind of in a bewildered state. I go down and meet other people at, 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 at breakfast before we, we get in the bus to the station to, to come here. And Sean was sitting next to me. Um, and uh, I went into, I, I was feeling really strange, and I went into this, shall we say, state of awareness that wasn't in this world. Um, I was looking at Sean, sitting right next to me, Sean at Webmaster, and he was in a different dimension, different reality to me. And I looked around the room and people were chatting, and they were not in the same reality that I was in. And this lasted for about an hour and a half as, as I, we got on the bus and on the train, about halfway through the train journey, I just started to, you know, be me again or, or be where I normally am in this reality. So what that was all about, I don't know. And what else is to come, I don't know, because, you know, my experience of Peru is that I never leave it the same as I arrive. And we've got a few days yet, and uh, I'll talk to you more next week from the Stone Circle, where, where basically, well, my life changed, yes, but it was the biggest, most, in, the biggest individual experience, shall we say, 1991, February 1991, that put me on the path to me standing here now and doing what I do.